And as I said, with regard to putting this particular kill in a tree, there isn't very much left of it. And it probably isn't worth the effort that would be involved tucking it into or finding a fork of a tree that would actually hold this little kill. And there you can see Shadow is taking the opportunity to relax a little bit. So Laura in Pittsburgh was watching a little bit earlier when I was looking for these leopards when I first picked up on the tracks and she would like to know what it was that I called shadow over the radio and the word that I used there that you're looking for is mafuzzy and it just means female so I didn't need to specify too much and I must admit that in, on that particular occasion my brain was a little bit caught between two different worlds. Um, generally we do use Shangon terms for a lot of what we call in over the Game Drive channel and there are fairly good reasons for that. However, I in that case was somewhat confused between what particular radio I was talking over so I then said the Mafuzzi meaning the female and then said Sindile's name which completely cancelled out my use of the Shangon. So, a little bit of a slip on my part, nothing major, but the word I was using was mafuzzy, which actually means woman, but is used in this context to mean a female animal. But very, very observant, and thank you as well for your well wishes. I do appreciate it, and encouragement in this new and exciting job is always very, very welcome. Thank you for that. really really does feel like the weather is closing in on us here as we've been sitting with these leopards it's been getting darker and darker and the wind is swirling a little bit around us and i do believe we are going to wake up somewhat chilly tomorrow potentially rather misty like we were the other morning and i know that my family in johannesburg are telling me that it is very very cold there so i think it must be on our on its way to us of course we're always a little bit sheltered on this side of the drakensberg it doesn't hit us nearly as badly so it won't be too bad and i'm sure it will be one of the last cold snaps we have before the summer hits
guys and answering a little bit of a question about shadows identifying features. And Lynn has apparently responded to say that she draws a spot pattern above one of her eyes. Now I'd have to look a little bit closer just to see what you're talking about, but thank you for that. It is interesting and I will look out for that kind of spot pattern on her when I get back a little back to camp after the sunset drive. And apparently she Shadow does have an identifying neat V notch in her right ear, which I didn't pick up on right now, but I haven't been looking very closely. And she also has two necklaces, two distinct necklaces, so a spot pattern that looks like a necklace along her chest or around her chest. And she has a spot pattern of 4-3. Now I'm still coming to terms with a different numbering system to the one that I used to use. So I will be having a look into how that works. Now I do... Oh there, I can actually, I can see a bit of a notch in the right ear. Of course she's decided that now is the moment to move off. And something has attracted her attention. I'm not sure what it is. There is another vehicle approaching, but I don't think it is her response to that. And it could be that she's heard a call of that male leopard somewhere in the area. I didn't pick up on anything. Or it could just be that she's caught an unidentified noise somewhere in the bush and she's just trying to figure out what it is. There is another car approaching, as I mentioned, but I don't think it is that. Just by watching her reactions to other cars, I don't think it's that that's caught her attention. So guys, Shadow is up and about, but I don't think she's going very far. However, apparently the Nkuhumas are on the move with Scott. So I'm going to send you across to them and I will check in with you guys a little bit later in the Sunset Safari. So cheers for now. I'll see you later.